Hey guys, this is Steve. Um, today I'm going to be doing a flaming tutorial uh, because a lot of guy, a lot of you guys um, ask me for it. So here it is. Today we're going to be just learning the introduction part and then slight, slight taste of the next part, which is going to be uh, verse one. So the introduction introduction goes like this. So in the beginning, uh, you're going to make sure your tuning is at D, E, A, D, F sharp, B, which in my case is kind of off. Okay, so first of all, you're going to start with 7th harmonic on the first string, and then 7th uh, harmonic on the second string, and then the next one on the 5th fifth, fifth fret of 3rd string. And I recommend you using a middle finger or any other finger except your index finger because your index finger is going to be used for uh, something else. You do this three times and the fourth one it's going to be all seventh fret. Okay? That's the only difference in the harmonics. Now I'll teach you the bass. It's going to be open string, sixth string, and then it's going to be the A string, which is basically fourth string now, and then it's going to be eighth fret of sixth string, and then seventh fret of sixth string, and then it repeats. Okay, so if you connect it, it's going to be actually really. Um, Kind of simple, but it's also going to be difficult. You go like this. So on here, okay, let me do a close up. When you hit the bass, it's going to look like this. What happens here is you're using your um, index finger as your pick. So go like this. You do it down, 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 up, down. And when you do the down, up, down, you make you try to make the palm mute sound. Okay. In order to make that sound, you kind of mute it with your palm on the side and then you strike it and so that it makes that sound. Okay? I'll go like this. Okay, so back to this um, view. What you're going to do is and then when it's doing the second harmonic, make sure you hit it with your palm again. So that's why it's kind of a complicated process, so go like this. So you're going to first hit your bass with just open string the open string and then you use your middle finger to pl place the next bass on the 8th fret right there you use your middle finger and then you do your harmonics with your index finger at least that's how I do it and that's why it's like a lot more comfortable and then you slide that bass which is basically 7th fret and then you use your pinky And then what happens here is So you go like you bar the whole thing whole seventh fret and then you place your middle finger on eighth fret of third string 
you place your uh, fourth finger on uh, fourth string uh, ninth fret, and then you hit your bass, and then hit these two notes, which is the center two strings. You hit that twice. And then you open up your uh, your first string, and then you put it back on, and then you pluck uh, second and third strings. So go like this, and then you hit the bass again, and then you hit this the same note again here. And then you just slam it, and then you drag it down. This will go like this. Okay. And then you start doing this. Okay, so that was the introduction, and now I will do a slight taste of the next part, which is actually, uh, I think it's the hardest part. So it's going to be, let me slide down a little bit. Okay, so this is more of a fretboard for you right now. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you guys can actually practice the chords before you do the right hand stuff, because right hand is actually the hardest part. So the first chord, first chord, is going to, you're going to bar the seventh fret, except, this, except the sixth string. I mean, you can, but it's not as accurate. And then you're going to place, your uh, fourth finger, a ninth fret, fourth string, and then you're gonna place your uh, middle finger on uh, on the eighth fret, second string. So go like this. Try to practice with your resquedo or or the slams. This or this. Either one is fine for practicing. So go like this, and then you slide it down to fifth fret. And then you take out your middle finger, and then you place your pinky on the second string seventh fret. And then you're gonna drag that down to third fret, drag that down to second fret, and then here's gonna be your bar the whole thing, whole seventh fret again, but this time including the bass, and then you place your middle finger, it's gonna be the same position as this but you just put one up. So it goes like your fourth finger is on the ninth fret, uh, fifth string. Your middle finger is going to be on third string now, third string, uh, eighth fret, and then you just bar the seventh fret. Okay, so let me just go a little for you. So this is more of an overview. So it goes like this. You practice either resquedo or the slam. Either one is fine, but I actually kind of prefer the slam. So that's gonna work. A little better. That's uh, what we're doing that we're next, but it goes like this. Okay, so that's like a slight taste. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on part two.